the old saying goes, gentlemen don't kiss and tell. Think James Bond. Do you see him running around bragging about all the amazing relationships that he's been in? It's just not something a gentleman would do. In James Bond's case, he might very well have the same exact experience the next day. So it's just not a big deal to him. Hello world, Prince here, and welcome to my channel, Gentlemen and Scholars, where we discuss life, style, personal development, and so much more. All right, so for today's topic, we're gonna to be going over gentlemen versus players, and we'll share the pros and cons as well as the differences. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so right off the bat, one of the first things that comes to my mind is integrity. You know, a gentleman's gonna have integrity and stand on his convictions, whereas a lot of players tend to lie and sell a woman a dream. I mean, think about it. Does James Bond have to lie to a woman? But he still does exceptionally well with the ladies. Men that feel that they have to sell a woman a dream typically don't feel that confident in themselves and therefore come up with this big, grandiose story to get the women to like them. This will be disadvantageous in the long run because it'll be impossible to keep up that act. And over time, you'll cause exactly what you don't want to happen to happen, which is you'll lose her. So it's better to just come as you are, the alpha version, obviously, and the woman that you're supposed to be with, she'll fall right in your lap over time. So the second difference that you notice is gentlemen are generally charming and not jerks. I mean, think of James Bond. He always has a funny, witty response to any given situation. And when I say charming, I mean charming to everybody. That's the clerk at the grocery store. That's the valet. That's the woman behind the counter fixing you your coffee. All of these people. While the player, well, he gets away with being a jerk because at least initially, the woman will interpret this as being alpha. However, over time, the truth will eventually come to light. And that's that you're weak and you're a beta control freak. This is not sexy at all. And again, you'll cause exactly what you don't want to happen to happen. And that is your loser. So if you're ever unsure how to respond to a certain situation, just think, hey, what would James Bond say? So for point three, this kind of ties into point two a bit, but gentlemen are typically funny and easygoing, whereas a lot of players, well, they're uptight and often easily agitated. All right, so a prime example of this might be when a woman tests, right? So a woman might make a funny yet snarky remark, and a gentleman, he'll just come back with a lighthearted, funny response. Whereas the player, well, often these guys just get agitated and might even lash out at the woman. Well, this is definitely not passing her test and it's always best to have a response for every given situation. Additionally, a gentleman and a player are gonna have two different motivations when it comes to relationships. See, a gentleman is going to be a lover of women. He's only gonna keep women in his life who he can build and see a future with. Whereas a lot of players, well, they sort of see women as disposable objects and are only focused on having as much sex as possible. It's like a lot of these guys have a secret disdain for women. I grew up with a lot of these guys. It's like they've been hurt and just haven't really gotten past that pain. And you see this a lot in the MGTOW community. Regardless of your situation, you should always look at a failed relationship as an opportunity for growth and bringing you one step closer to the woman of your dreams. So just as a side note, if you're ever dating a woman that you know that you don't wanna build with, it's always best to let them go and give them the space to find a man better suited for them. Just something to think about. So the fifth difference that you'll notice is that gentlemen, well, they typically don't share too much about their relationships. Whereas players, well, they'll share all the intimate details of their many relationships. As the old saying goes, gentlemen don't kiss and tell. Think James Bond. 
Do you see him running around bragging about all the amazing relationships that he's been in? It's just not something a gentleman would do. In James Bond's case, he might very well have the same exact experience the next day. So it's just not a big deal to him. Whereas a player, well, maybe he's not used to this level of success. So we can't wait to go running to his boys and bragging about all the women that he's been seeing. And yes, you may have guessed it, it's gonna cause exactly what he does not want to happen to happen. And that is, they are eventually going to leave him. Think James Bond. Women, well, they're an awesome perk that comes along with the job, but the mission, that's always put first and foremost. This should be the case for every man. Never abandon your goals and dreams to pursue or appease any woman. Players, on the other hand, well, they're just looking for sex and are often overly worried about what other people think about them. They may even put themselves on a pedestal and make it a habit to put on a show for others instead of being authentically themselves. Always go for what you want and be authentically you. The people that are supposed to be in your life will be there. Just something to think about. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. If you have any questions for me, definitely feel free to give a shout. Like, definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell. That is extremely important. And definitely let me know down below if I missed anything, you know, that I missed some uh, points that you noticed when dealing with players versus gentlemen. Definitely let me know down in the comment section below. I'll definitely link some great personal development books that I definitely recommend all you men out there check out for your personal development journey. Until next time, gentlemen and scholars.